Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I think it's about time we finish this thing. Now, I have gone back to these uh, rooms at the top of the map there, especially on the left and the right, where you can see that we have missing rooms. I cannot for some reason, and I've just noticed another missing room right at the very top on the right. Singular room. Bastards. Anyway, uh, for the life of me, I cannot get those last few blocks to trigger. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's bugged or whether it's something that I'm not doing right. But no matter how much I jump at those ceilings, they just don't appear. I have gone back to the very left bottom of the map there and filled in the last two rooms. Now, when I loaded this save, we were at 198% complete. So we're 2% off completion. Now, I know using some bugs and trickery, apparently you can get up to 206% completion, but I think we're going to fall short of that. Anyway... Let's go and sort these guys out. Now, you can see how powerful we've become. Because instead of doing one damage to these guys, we are now doing 15. And they fall like wheat before the scythe. And they're basically the hardest enemy in the game. Really, at least, um, you know, from what we've encountered so far. So to see these guys being felled by our humble gas cloud is kind of funny to me. Anyway, we have two more bosses to fight. And if you're sitting here curiously wondering to yourself, are we going to have a hard time with the last two bosses? Well, I'll allow you to use your imagination. I was <clears throat> shocked, but we shall leave that for a minute. So once I actually finished this game myself, uh, I did look up some strats for our friend Vlad, and well, there does appear to be quite a few people at least uh, when I was looking up on Reddit and some of the older forums, uh, people were having a hard time with him. Shaft is universally known to be an easy boss, but Vlad apparently gave a lot of people a lot of trouble. Anyway, let's go. And let's bring this thing finally home. Hopefully. So we do get a heart refresh there. So if we wanted to, we could refresh all of our hearts. I don't think we're going to be needing that. Mainly because we've brought the wrong sub-weapon. <laughs> ah well. It matters not. Let's go. Now, I was kind of looking forward to finally seeing the end of this game. I mean, I've seen the end of this game, like, I think a very long time ago, when my friend, the Games Librarian, did it. But to actually, you know, watching it and doing it yourself are two very different things. I didn't actually mean to fast forward then. Okay. And there's our man, Shaft. You have done well in making it this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who is controlling Belmont? Yes. I am the dark priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. Why did you make Belmont lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But if two vampire hunters were to fight each other... But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's <laughs> why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. 
But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. Uh huh. Is that right, Mr. Shaft? Well, let's see how that goes for you. Now, if we use our gas ability, he's just going to continuously guard. I, yep, I didn't think this uh, was going to... This was actually going to stop him at all, but that doesn't really matter. Now... Nope, still don't want to do that. Come on. Come on, Shaft. Don't be like that, friend. You should be falling like wheat before the scythe to me. Now, again, I'm not really sure how this hitbox of this particular ability works. But it doesn't matter. It's like ultimate attack. It's literally doing one damage to us, so... You know. Read into that what you will. In fact, if we just use our shield to block him, we're probably going to do crazy damage. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. No. But, but my goal is achieved. Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> yeah. Our Dracula shield pretty much just dispatches him on his own at this point. But unfortunately, farther away. And this one is a little bit different. Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! <gasps> yeah, our boy Alucard is having none of it. So, let's have a little go at Mr. Dracula, shall we? Uh, yep, that's... That's it. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, uh, uh, sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 16.26, I believe. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son! And that is Vladdy Boy. Kind of an interesting ending. How he kind of changes there. But, yeah, he, I mean, he's a joke, really. Um, bearing in mind, we're like level 62, 63, something like that. Like, if we were level 100, I, I don't even know how that would have gone down. One hit, maybe? I was genuinely expecting a intense battle with him. I love that bit of harp there.
So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. Twould be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. It's all right. Go after him. Perhaps you can save his haunted soul. Thank you, Richter. Fare thee well. And yourself, dear lady. And those two must have fallen in love after coming in contact with each other, like, you know, four times, three times, something like that. So anyway, there you have it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the first Castlevania game that I've actually ever played. Uh, and the first Metroidvania game, actually, that I've ever sat down and played properly. Uh, unfortunately for me, Metroid just never really did it for me. I've tried. Um, and the fact that I bounced off hard with Metroid um, made me question if I'd even enjoy this game. And, well, I did. I really did. This game was phenomenal, and I can see why it has such a incredible cult following, even to this day. Um, I may even look at other games in the series later on down the line. I'm certainly uh, very curious, shall we say. Now, this game has aged like fine wine as well. Uh, everything from the art style to the incredible music. I will say one of the things that I thought was handled, could have been handled better, should we say, uh, the way that you do get the secondary, cast, um, secondary castle. I thought that could have been done a little bit better. And one second, guys. Okay, so I think I lost my train of thought there. Um, but, yeah, so the inverted castle was a bit strange. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more with it. But, you know, I suppose when it actually this game came out, that was quite a hidden thing. Because unless you'd been quite thorough with your exploration and actually made it into the clock tower and then knew to use the glasses when you're fighting Belmont, I suppose a lot of people didn't actually know about the second half of the game. <laughs> But yeah, I think they could have done a little bit more with that. Um, I also, I'm kind of mixed on all the items in the game as well. There was a just mind boggling amount of items. Now you can look at this as a positive or a negative. I'm kind of on the fence with it considering, you know, 95% of them were optional. A lot of them seem to be just straight up useless as well, which was curious. Um, I like the fact that you could morph into different things, like a bat, a gas cloud, and the wolf. However, the wolf seemed to be kind of underutilized, I think. And as cool as the bat and the gas cloud were, I think by the time you've powered everything up, the gas cloud is just significantly overpowered compared to the other two but you know it doesn't exactly break the game does it but I enjoyed it I really did and uh, thank you to the games librarian for finally introducing me to this game and getting me to play it and I hope you guys enjoyed it I certainly did I certainly did. That was probably one of the best games that I have played in a very, very long time. And I feel like I'm saying that a lot recently. 
Um, and most of the time I say that, it's on these old classic games. Funny that. But anyway guys, I'll leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought. And as always, till next time.